so I got my little paws on that horse game test phase one. <laughs> Yay! Uh, it got released today. So I thought maybe let me just bring this to you because this is actually very exciting. Um, so the play test, play testing phase one is the play tests. Okay, so there's no sound for the play test. That's fine. Uh, the horse jumping animations got remade. You can back up your horse now. Wait, I want to see this. Let's see, dismount, soccer curse, and move right imagery backward. This is a big thing for me. I'm sorry. Let me just get on this. I just want to see this. Oh, yes. Look at the ears. Look at the ears. Sorry, that was a big thing for me, okay? <laughs> uh, the character got a new riding animation, uh, but, not, but it's not complete or finished. Jumping should be more enjoyable, and you should be able to make much less mistakes. The gate speeds got changed. The horse will react when it sees a jump, and will get automatically a bit faster. When, going, uh, when doing a trot jump, in the highest jump in the playtest, the horse automatically goes into a canter after jumping. You can turn the horse much tighter now. Is it really? It is really. It is really. Ooh, much tighter. I like it. Transitions look smoother now. New dynamic camera, new character movements, uh, added beards, new hair, flat chest for the character customizer. So they did a lot. Okay, so this is our this is actually a reskinned horse and it is beautiful. Um, I'm gonna see if I can put the photo next to it so you can see how it actually looked like or how it's looking like in the in the demo at the moment. Uh, the movement of the person is better. Uh, she's got a bit of movement on the upper body. It's beautiful. Obviously there's no tech. Um Man Menda have said that there will be a test phase two where they want to do the tax. So let's just see the transition of the gates. Oh, that's a nice smooth transition. Also, she is doing her best to stay on there and it is actually looking not as stiff. There's movements. I know there's movement in the previous one, but this one feels not as stiff. Gate transition, beautiful, perfect. Gallop, oh, this is nice. Uh, with a demo at the moment, she falls off the horse, or she tries to her very best to fall off the horse. But with this, this is beautiful. Gate down, canter. Gate down, trot. Gate down, walk. Gate down, idle. Okay, it says stop. Uh, this is beautiful. Um, currently in the demo, you have to basically smash the control button or the stop button to get the horse to stop. This is just click, stops, boop, goes, boop goes boop goes and it is beautiful so you can just and idle um let's just see there is the extended walk beautiful collected walk beautiful let's try that in the trots extended trots collected trots very smooth they also reworked the one of the, some of the dressage moves, so your lateral trot right is now a press and hold, not a tap, and then you can sweetly quickly change it to lateral trot left, and that is beautiful. And then it goes trot. You don't need to press anything. It goes into a trot by itself, or a forward trot by itself. So there we go, trot right, and then let's just speed up and see the canter, lateral canter. Press down E, that alright. That is cool. Okay, let me just get down. If to dismount. Uh, this is our new person. She runs very. Actually, she runs better. I love it. Um, a little bit more movement in the hips and the arms. Uh, it's really, really nice. Even the walk. Let me just get her to walk. Much nicer. She feels weighty. Um, once they put in the sound, it, it'll probably be better. But she feels weighty. Like, she's she's properly walking. Also, what I do like, also, is they have this, this you know, UI thingy. This radial, or whatever you want to call it. Um, you can't pick the hooves yet, or tack up, or anything. That'll be in your test phase one. Uh, test phase two, threes, and fours. But you can get on. So let's test these jumps. 
first off, you will see that you are over the shoulder look. At first, I didn't like it, to be honest. I really didn't like it. But um, you get used to it. And, sorry, I was just slow there. <laughs> it is a high jump, so the horse didn't want to go. So let's just back up. My new favorite thing. I'm going to back up this horse. Okay. Let's just get him into a canter. Nice, nice turn. Camera just self, and you fly over the jumps. Like I said, at first it felt a bit funny, but it took me a total of five minutes to get used to the over the shoulder view. Like, literally. At first I didn't like it, but now I'm like, yeah, I can see it working. Okay, I jumped there. Also, what they did was. Um, we just not try and murder the source um, you can do this so some of you that have been trying to take photos will know that every time you want to take a photo your camera clips onto the jumps and you can't really get a nice photo of your horse jumping so this eliminates the clipping and it is stunning I love it I love it I love it very nice the Titans, really pretty. Just want to see in a gallop. Is there a Titan on the gallop? Obviously, you're not going to turn. So, you know, jump, jump, jump. Beautiful, beautiful movement. Um, a little bit of a staggering there. Okay, so let's just check out the current uh, character customization. Tab. So, for the body. Uh, zoom in for you you can go muscular you know weight whatever you want breast size flat curvy so you can make your your character a bit more ma muscular if you want to um however i think the the breast area is a little bit too much still maybe i don't know um then also your hair you can have a beard so now I'm thinking, okay, so you can have shorter hair and all that jazz. Let me just do the shorter hair bits. Uh, your mustache. So I'm thinking that they will probably, you know, put in more mustaches and beard uh, options. I hope so, because I quite like a full beard. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's a step in the right direction. So you can choose your hair color and whatever, like like standard. And then I'm not going to show you all the presets because um, I don't want to spoil everything. <laughs> you guys will just have to become a patron and support these this wonderful team. So if you want to support this game and this fantastic team, hop onto their Patreon and play test this Patreon exclusive work in progress. Who knows? Maybe your suggestions will make it to the game. Uh, I've got all their Discord and the page links below. And if you can't join their Patreon, uh, just pop into the Discord. Just tell them how much you love this game and download the demo. All the links will be in the description below. Okay guys, I think this is it for me. I'll keep you posted on any news and tidbits and anything that horse game related. Anything that I hear and can share with you. Please join me in the next one. <laughs>